Broadsword calling Danny Boy. Okay, YouTubers, this is Joe from Artanian TV. Forgive me if I sound a bit gruff today, got a bit of a cold, bit of a sore throat. We'll crack on anyway. Um, right, we have two images here with the same thing in. Uh, this is from Sol821, mass cam right from the NASA website here. I'll have the links in the description. The first one here, we want to look on the, on the left of the image, near the center. And on the other one, which is just a adjacent to it on the, on the on the page when you look at the images is on the right here the same thing okay so it appears in at least two photographs it probably appears in more that i haven't found yet and may even appear in other image sets as well on a different day which, which a lot of these things often do uh but the these the soul 821 that the, the quality is absolutely terrible now here's the raw image you can see this has just been clipped out okay can see how bad look how grungy this image is it really is terrible um, some of these images are absolutely terrible uh, could it be due because of the radiation on the surface uh, it could be but I think it's just a lot of it is from the resizing and compression they do before they put them on the website there are over a million images on the uh, on the NASA website uh, from the rover probably and uh, they, they couldn't fit them all on otherwise so they had to resize them down and, and uh, they lose a lot of information but it's probably partly deliberate as well because they don't really want us to see too much detail because the devil is always in the detail any any forensic scientist or, or detective will tell you that this the details that give away in, in in on a crime scene what has actually happened is the small details that really count and they're they're where you can get the true information from so it's all very convenient but here we go we'd have to deal with it and get on with it anyway here we go this has been blurred and you uh, Gaussian blurred and I've turned the brightness up and the contrast up a bit here and here's another one a bit a bit lighter assuming I mean it's never gonna look great but they do look like a pair of antlers here not symmetrical but antlers never are and it, they may well be um, let's have a look at the here's the two images in here uh, in in my graphics processor here and this is, these are the raw image files. And when you get in, they really are terribly grungy. I mean, look at this. If you're watching in full HD, you'll see how bad these are. But, um, you know, we have to deal with what we've got, you know, and get on with it. Here's the raw image clip. I'll just show you how I get rid of this grunginess, or try to. Um, the first thing I do is blur it. And a Gaussian blur usually does it. Uh, for an image this bad, it'll have to be something like 2.6 or something. To smooth it out there we go now, that automatically gets rid of all those, those blocks that you get let's, there we go see that if the, the difference is quite amazing let's do that again uh, da, da, da. let's, let's re-blur it okay do it the same amount 2.6 normally I don't use that much normally I only use about 1 or 1.4 or something like that but this image is particularly bad so it needs quite a lot just to just to smooth it out um, and you never know, you're never going to get much detail out of these anyway. This isn't very big anyway. This is probably only about nine or ten inches across. Could only be six actually. So these are small antlers from a small creature, you know. So it's not some huge elk or something or giant creature. Um, it's, it's probably from something quite small, you know, some small sort of herbivore. I have found lots of uh, skulls and of, of things like goats and, and antelope type skulls up there. So, you know, uh, there were animals up there at some point. They probably all got killed in the nuclear war as well. Uh, <laughs> if there was a nuclear war, which, which some scientists, and I think Brandenburg, I think John Brandenburg, is saying there. Well, that does kind of fit what I found. And I have been saying for about a year and a half, two years now, that uh, it looks like there was a war up there or massive explosion, at least one massive explosion, possibly more than one. And uh, this does explain how everything looks on the ground and the fact that it's all smashed up and a lot of it looks petrified and turned to stone almost, you know. I mean, in a, a nuclear blast would, would do that. Uh, you know, and you could, followed by a, a nuclear winter, everything would freeze. You know, it really does add up. Uh, we don't know what happened up there. This could have been 10,000 years ago, could have been a million years ago. I, I think it was much more recent than that. I actually think it was about 100 years ago. 
because there were apparently signals picked up from Mars by people like Tesla and Marconi about a hundred years ago and they did say they were from Mars and uh, perhaps the people then were at war and were asking for help from from us and we didn't listen <laughs> and uh, there was a war and they were destroyed I mean either by themselves probably more likely or po perhaps even by an alien race so uh, it all kind of fits um, right what am I doing I'm just gonna yeah I'm just gonna white balance that for you uh, automatic color balance oh dear now I've got a preset on here which gives it a daylight sort of color there we go uh, it just makes it bluer really gets rid of some of that orange filter let's just um, let's play with the contrast a little bit I mean you're never going to get much out of this because it's it's quite small it's in the middle distance it's not right up near the camera and it's it's a little bit ambiguous because of that but you can tell it it, it looks like a pair of antlers because you have a bit sticking down here and they're out of shape. What else can I say? I think it was 250 Sabre who said um, that, that my other recent uh, find, which actually other people have found, I'll show you this now. I got, um, I published this the other day. A number of people have published this already and they've said it's some kind of alien object or manufactured. I don't think it is manufactured. I think it's a, 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 a piece of bone or something. I'll just let it go through the enhancements here. Now this may well have been attached to these antlers because often antlers have large sort of blade-like parts sticking out of them um, uh, and, and this thing may have been part of it and this is only literally meters away from those antlers so this could be related um, this will show you the enhancements now let me flick through it. there we go and if you if you pause it there I'll pause it uh, yeah you can see you can see the detail in there that is like a honeycomb structure like you would expect from a bone or antler you know uh, so is this related yes it's the same soul group it's it's very close by it could be part of the same thing i would expect around this area to find a skull that the antlers came from i mean often antlers are dropped uh, and the animal you know carries on you know they don't necessarily die uh, uh you know when their antlers fall off they, they shed antlers often shed could it be a reindeer <laughs> we're coming up to christmas now uh is it <laughs> all right i won't go i won't go down that road okay well i, I think i'll call it a day there because I've, I've shown you as much as i can with this it, like i said the, the, the image quality of some of these souls is absolutely terrible and there are some other interesting things in here there's some something here but it's so grungy i mean look at that i mean that could be a little dead critter there like a little dead rat or something or, you know but the image quality is so bad and this this area is probably highly radioactive which also gives interference with the camera lens uh, or with the, the sensor and that sort of thing so that could also explain a lot of this and heat haze of course it gets very hot in this crater it's about 100 degrees nearly quite very near the equator and as you say microclimate here's the antlers here look you can see them in the source image they I mean what else could they be uh, rocks don't tend to do that in my in my opinion um, okay, so thanks for watching everybody. I'll, I'll put some extra little clips at the end uh, anyway, and I'll see you soon.